more backstage. Look at the Irish, I guess, right? Look at the Irish. Look at the Irish. Luck of the Irish. Yep, that's what I said. You know what? Uh, let, let me tell you something about the luck of the Irish. You know, all right, let me paint you a scenario. Let's say you're in a bar somewhere in Ireland. Okay. Oh, anywhere in Ireland, it really doesn't matter. The guy walks up to you, he says, hey, is that a bomb on you while you're ticking? And then BAM! Small intestines are on the ceiling and your brains on your car across the street. That's the luck of the Irish for you. I mean, who's kidding who, okay? Well, let's take a second to talk about the bad luck of the Irish. All right, how about this? Potato fan! Now, how about that? It scares them, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it should. That's the reason they came over here in the first place, so they wouldn't have to work in those potato fields. That's why they all became cops, priests, and politicians. Luck? Give me a break. Listen, folks, I got this friend. His name's Dan Sullivan. Great. You know, hold on one second. His name's Dan Sullivan. All right, he's as Irish as they come. You know, we used to drink together a lot. I'm telling you, after two drinks, this guy would be looking like a drunken Irish pirate. You think this guy had luck? Well, and one day, he gets his car stolen. And the stupid guy, he had no insurance, no license, and he gets locked up for being drunk. Hold on one second. He gets locked up for being drunk. So after he gets out, he takes off for some place like India or Nepal or some place like that. And then his mother dies, you know? So they wire him to tell him about his mother's funeral. And it's his mother's funeral, that's all. And he's over in India or Nepal, or someplace like that, sitting squat leg and listening to some sacred cow. All right, so basically what happens is he comes back and gets stopped at US Customs for trafficking illegal drugs. Not holding, he's trafficking. I mean, here's this guy Sullivan. His old lady gets, pop gets kicked off, he gets popped at the border, and he's sitting on 50 pounds of black Tibetan finger hash and two keys of slam. That's not bad luck, Molly. That's dumb luck. And I don't think luck's got anything to do with it. I don't think this guy's got any br Hold on one sec. I don't think he's got any brains at all. I mean, first off, he's a drunk. Then, he's a junkie. I don't know what's worse. Don't ask me. Ask Sullivan. So then what happens next? He calls me up and says, Hey, man. I got busted at the border, man. I need five grand bail, man. I said, I said, five grand? Hey, man. I've never even seen $5,000 in my life. So don't ask me for it, man. Why don't you ask your mother? Which was a stupid thing for me to say because his mother just died. <laughs> so right now, I got this drunken Irish junkie who wants to kill me because of what I said about his mother being in terminal dreamland. Oh, I want sight, Molly! Oh, if it's one thing, one thing, Molly, they love their mothers. Oh, they love their mothers, boys. It's mama this and mama that. Oh, my Irish mother. Ireland must be heaven because my mother... Can't.